the what's this level called? Okay, if you look at the save again. Ah, the Barkang Monastery. Yep. One of the biggest levels in the game, period. Gigantic level this is. But not as annoying as the deck. There's this there's this different concept here with these monks and the enemies with the guns. They actually the monks don't attack you unless you attack them. So I'm just gonna let them do the work. No, just look at look at what he's doing. Just look strong. Now, as long as you don't attack these guys, you'll be okay. There was a time where I accidentally attacked the monks, mm -hmm. and then what I did is that I just killed them all with a grenade launcher. <laughs> and there were so many to kill, loads, loads to kill. But yeah, talk us more about this monastery level. Well, I just pretty much explained all of it, really. It's got this part where you have to find six, like, pyro wheels, I think they're called or something. Six wheels? Like, cylinder seals or something. You collect six of them and then you complete the level. Oh, so... And it's a very non-linear level, so you can choose how, what order you want to get the uh, items you need. So, it's a very open level, so... Yeah, so this one is definitely going to take a while. There's a lot... This is pretty much a lot more explorable, so... Oh, great. More birds of death. More crows of death. Ah, scratch, I could just use pistols for these guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Not like this. I should have used the pistols for them. Yeah, I know, I just realised that. But then again, I've got loads of bullets anyway. I mean, I've got like over a thousand, so... <laughs> so I've got no problems. Yeah, not just all my pistols, but like in fucking Uzis as well. See that gross just flying about his business. Yeah, exactly. And you're just shooting it. With this really awkward camera at the moment. Wait, what the fuck? I think he's in there, probably. Hold on, I'm gonna jump back. <laughs> I hope the bird didn't get stuck in the rock. I sincerely... Well, I don't really care because he's he's trying to kill me anyway, so... I can still hear it. Actually, I'm going to jump to that. And you've got to make sure Lara's facing at a certain angle. Oh no, there's the crow. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. He's <laughs> fucking waiting for us down there. You sneaky little bastard. Actually, while I'm here, there's going to be some grenade rounds I can get. So there's some grenade rounds around here. Just gotta climb up this part first. And after this, Laura goes back to two temples after this one, so... Yeah, she goes back to the beginning of the game. Well, yeah, after the ice tombs, yeah. Speaking of Rich, that's like Rise of the Tomb Raider. Actually, I did that game. Rise of the Tomb Raider's a lot of fun. Hey, Lena La, thanks for the raid, my lady. Playing about doing some two Raider. Yeah, the shortcut I just took there. Saves you having to climb all that all the way up there. Right. <laughs> Breaking the window of this monastery. I bet the monks would like that. Oh yeah, they oh they definitely would. And they still won't kill Lara for it. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be a guy coming out here, so let the monk deal with him. And the enemies auto they just automatically know where they are. Like, yeah, so just let the enemies fight one another. Yeah. I'll, I'll let him deal with him. Unless he dies, then. Uh, unless they just decide to run in circles. And not. and just play around. Yeah, um. Hey, guy. Attack each other. Yes. That's exactly what death it is. Death Trap Palace. Yeah, there's loads of death traps in this level. Oh no, he killed the monk! What an ass. I know. And what has he got? Uh -huh. More ammo. <laughs> Lara. Yeah, trying to get around the corners. There's your grenade launcher ammo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, so we want to... Head go. back the other way. Yeah, we want to go this way. And I can already hear more death traps. Yeah. That's always a good sign. 
Actually, this is one of the hardest levels in the game, admittedly. No, the deck level is still hardest. No, that's just the most boring. Yeah. This, this is actually one of the longer ones, too, so... Yeah, so it's going to be a long one, folks. Yeah. Although there's this uh, glitch that someone did near the end where you can actually jump through the door and literally just finish the level in, like, a few minutes, apparently. Hmm. That music from Tomb Raider 1, surprisingly. They do use some of the... Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> the monkey in the way. No, you could not have this key. Oh, yeah, I like how they just leave a key out there for anyone to grab. That's just kind of funny, actually. Yeah, you think the monk would have, like, turned hostile when you, like, pick up the key. Yeah, but you, that, yeah, but seriously, who actually would leave a key out there just for anyone to grab? Yeah, at least put it behind, like, a lock or something. Yeah, or have one of the monks hold on to it and you have to take oh, yeah, him out. more death traps. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, this level should have been called uh, Death Trap Palace, yeah. Because there is a lot of traps here. See, they put those flares out to fuck with you. Yeah, to screw you over. I'm not that dumb, cool. I'm not that dumb. I can't be dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> he says as he jumped off the level multiple times to his death. Yeah. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Alright, so we wanna... Oh, let me guess, that there's like a fucking fan down there. That yeah, so you. swim your ass off into this corner here. Hopefully there'll be something around here. Yep. <laughs> that. Right. Thank God for that. Alright, let's get the flare out. Because we gonna definitely need a flare in here. Yeah, it's way too dark to see anything. You gotta time it well. Shit. Oh, just, just a ladder. We made it out! That was the only death trap we had to handle. Yep. There's going to be more along the way, like slicing blades and all sorts. Well, I'm in for the war section anyway. Yeah. Don't ruin my hopes, man! Okay. That was another monkey. There's more guys with guns, so let me take care of them. Well, sort of try to take care of them. If he doesn't run around like an idiot. Just throw the flare at the guy. Oh yeah, die! And then he dies. <laughs> Did not do well. Yep, he jinxed himself. Just circle At least this around. guy's stupid enough to not just, like, you know, turn around. Yeah, just circle around him. You can actually do that. You circle around the uh, opponents and you can just keep on shooting them. Uh -huh. Alright. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, epic music plays. Okay, get fucked by this guy. Yeah, I know. What happened to his body? I had no idea. <laughs> it just crumbled up. Oh, glitch, glitch. Hold on. Need a jump over. Need a jump here. There you go. There's our first. I think that's a war text. Yeah, that's what we need to collect. We need to collect six of these. Oh, okay then. They look like pillars. Yeah. For, from the picture, it just looked like a scroll of paper. Yeah, it did. Alright, now let's get back to where we came. Here's an interesting glitch right here. If you pull this block out... Go push this one fast. <coughs> That block that's right behind Lara, you can do this jump glitch where you can just literally jump through the wall. Okay, I'm interested to see how that works. Okay, let's see them. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> okay then. Yep, yeah, I know. There's loads of like glitches you can find in this game. Even the Temple of Shine, there's a massive shortcut you can take where you don't even have to play for the entire level. You can beat it in like five minutes. <laughs> but it's very hard to pull off because you have to do this running jump to a slope and then oh. get to the bridge. Oh, I thought that boulder would have like, rolled towards you. 
Yeah. Well, that's because it came up from up there. Oh. Because the boulder the... came up there, and then it went down there. I thought it was going to be a sneaky trap, like you get up the ladder, and then the boulder comes down towards you. Yeah. There, there's our. So we've got the first seal, now we just need to find five more, which are no doubt hidden behind more death traps everywhere. Yep, loads of more. Also, the mug has disappeared. Where the fuck has he got to? I have no idea. Alright, so now we got one of them, so we climb back down here. We're out fucking it up and dying. Oh, you saved my fall. Thank you. So that key is used to open that door there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that now. There's the animation villages. Yeah. And here's an epic battle between the monks and the guys with guns. As soon as we see them. Yeah, because I remember there was like this big, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. That spawns and the uh, enemies come and that's when all the monks Oh really? It's only just one guy versus like two of them? Yeah. I, I, gee, I wonder who's gonna win. You just stand here, let them do the work. <laughs> but they, they, they just look so awkward. <laughs> it, really, it really does look awkward. Maybe that's why they don't give Laura melee weapons. Yeah. Hey, you got him! Mm -hmm. God, more guys. Oh, there's two of them now. Yeah. Look. Wait, did he just vanish? Did you see that popping? Look. Oh, there he is again. See if get on that. Oh, well, they did not last long. They certainly did not. Hey, reinforcements are coming. We still have a shot. Wait, where did the other guy come from? There was only one down here. Okay. Yeah, so whatever you do, do not attack any monks. One monk, it doesn't matter. If you attack one, all the monks will come after you. Yeah, it's kind of like Minecraft and it's zombie pigmen and never. Like, you hit one of them, all of them come hostile. Yeah. So I don't even need to do most of the work there. I just mostly stand back and just let them do it. And if they get killed, just, like, finish them off for yourself. Yeah. Well, we still got the rest of the level ahead. Yep. So I'm going to go for this one first since it's the easiest. Well, it's the shortest one to get because all you've got to do is just run and jump across the platform to get the other pillar. So. Actually, there's a switch up there as well. So we need to. Which unlocks something? Yeah, which unlocks the uh, gate beneath this uh, massive looking statue. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I thought it looked like flesh from the distance. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Imagine if this monastery had, like, a shrine to a god of, like, from fucking Warhammer, and holy shit, that would have been the most fucking intense thing ever. Yeah, probably would. Yeah, so just don't fuck up the jumps, then you'll be able to get this pillar. Yep. I intend to. Oh, no, it's because I need a gemstone. What am I doing? Oh, how did you forget about that? It's a big level. Give me some slack. <laughs> it's a big level, you douche. Okay. Alright, okay. Now, I think the best way to go about it is to jump down there. And fall to your death. No, to hit that slope. To hit that. So I don't take any damage. I'm going to make a big jump across there. We'll do that. Oh, what the fuck? What, what, what the hell did you do? I pressed the Windows button. <laughs> and you fucked up the window as a result. There we go. Sorry, folks. Yeah, I accidentally pressed the window button instead of the um. That's the problem with the default. Button. Yeah, that's the problem with the default controls. It's like, puts it right next to the Actually, window. at the back, there is a gold dragon here, so I'm going to go and grab that while I'm at it. Sneakily hidden back there. You would never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do like that sound effect, though. Every time you pick up a um, dragon or secret. 
need to find the other two. I did play the original Tomb Raider a lot though when I was young. I wonder if you can jump on top of that table. You gotta. No. Oh no! That's weird because like in the third game you can like jump on top of Lara's table. Yeah, in the third game you can do that, yeah. I did like Lara's mansion in Tomb Raider 3 though. That was fun. You know, shoot the butler and... Now, this doesn't make sense. I, I might be able to pull this off, right? He actually walked through the... Oh, there was a time where he walked all like the... Oh, gun. No. Camera. Yeah, he just walked through that without taking damage. That makes no sense. Yeah, I take damage. That is not fair. And he walked through the table. He's walking through the fucking table. Yeah. Apparently so. Again, these monks must have quantum vasing technology. Yeah, they must do. I know the first Tomb Raider game had that as well, where enemies would phase through objects as well. So yeah. All right. So what? Are, what do we got? We got a storage room key. And we got one pillar. Yeah, I believe that's used at the bottom here. In that little area there. Let's have a look. Nope, it's not there. No, you gotta unlock that part later. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm telling that to the people at home. Okay. I'm just trying to remember where to use it. Oh, wait, I remember. It's at the far back. Just before we open those big doors. It is a big level. It's gonna take a while to remember this. Yep. I've seen speedrunners do this in like ten minutes flat. How the fuck they manage that? I have no idea. Practice, because practice makes you perfect. It's not that one there. It's the um. Yeah, it's the one round the back of it. Lara. Get around the corner. It's the one round the back. Yeah, it's for this one here. Obviously, because it's got the um. Yeah, it's got the lock. It's got the same colour. Yeah. And that opens up the door, which didn't look like it could open. <laughs> it looked, just looked like a pile of wood that you set on the front of it, like, you know, it was a zombie movie. Yeah. Well, I got the key anyway, so I don't matter. <laughs> and hit my head against that. <laughs> yeah, bash poor Lara's head against the fucking ceiling. Yeah, exactly. Christ, this is big. That's the key we need to get to. Rooftop. Oh, rooftop key. This is where we go next. I wonder where this will take us. You don't have to come here first. You can go get the other pillars, but I'm going to come here first. Just because it's easier? Ye yeah. And plus, it saves me going back and forth a bit. So it turns off all the flames. So you gotta rush through there before it turns back on. Yep. Yeah. And I hate when she does that though. When if you're just slightly behind, she'll just stop right on top of them. Yeah. The the hitboxes of those um, little flame projectors are a bit off. Yeah. Off I crash. <laughs> I was really worried you crashed the game then. Yeah. Oh, so I love how, how this guy is ignoring us. Yeah, he is. Oh no, this guy's not ignoring us, he's following us the entire way. Lara, oh, run back, run back, run back. Deal with him, deal with him. Come on, you damn mums. Deal. Yeah, just stand there, don't attack him. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. Oh, it's alright, they killed him. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> alright, use Eclipse. And we have... Small med pack. Yeah, we're getting a lot of small ones today. Yeah. Nobody likes the large med packs, do they? <laughs> they, they? They're not worth it. They're useless. According to this game. Right. Stay here. Yeah, so that just opens it up. Yep, yeah. and inside we have. Gen. That's what we need to use the gen on. Ah, alright. Well, we jumped across those platforms uh -huh. earlier. Right, okay, grab these. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet I bet the people at the monastery really like you stealing all their shit. Yeah. And yet they they still don't shoot Lara. That's... Well, well, they don't have guns. Well, no, not shoot Lara. They still don't try to kill Lara. They still don't try to kill her for it. Yeah, they'll go after these people who haven't actually stolen anything yet. But they won't go after the guy <laughs> who's fucking stealing everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're facing through the panel there. Yeah. God, I love these retro graphics. <laughs> the chunks don't punch right through your chest. So you push that forward in. Oh no, you pull it forward. Yeah. Backwards. Board backwards. God yeah. damn it. Fucking speak properly. Yeah, Matthew. Okay. So that's our second pillar. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is our second pillar. That's okay. Yeah. You were right. Probably because oh oh it's that sort of thing. That's why the monks don't attack. Ooh, sexy lady. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be better if she had the triangle boobs from the first game. Oh god, that would just look fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that's, that, that's my guess. I wish they kept that as an option, like. In the office menu, you can just select to have the triangular. Okay, now watch this monk. He's gonna, he's gonna be suicidal, but he can't because he won't die. Yeah, walk by me, leave me. Oh no, he's oh god, <laughs> <laughs> he fucking walked through. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Again, these monks, I swear to God, they have to be cyborgs. No, no, I'm going with the theory that they have uh, phasing technology. Yeah, that's my guess too. Do I? Yeah. I might as well use the gemstone up there actually, go back up there and use it. Yeah. Might as well. Oh wait, I could just come back here later, I can do the other section first because there's a secret I've got to grab. If they were alone for so long, they're probably all gay. But then, wouldn't they, you know, instead of killing the soldiers, uh, well, instead of killing Bartoli's men, they just, like, put them in the basement or something? Maybe. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Have their way with them? Maybe. Wait, was that something down there? <laughs> no. No, you just wasted our I... time. <laughs> I just imagined there was, I just thought there was something down there. As soon as I looked up, I thought I saw something on the floor. I thought, okay, wait a minute, look, look down. Ah, it's alright. <laughs> Trying to figure out this maze of the Oh, something's happening. Oh, up here. Look what they're doing. Uh, it's because they're getting shot at. Yeah. Alright, uh, take cover! <laughs> it helped if you guys take cover. And they're finally moving out of the way. Yeah, apparently. Oh, it's because we opened the door, that's why. Yeah. With the gunfire in the distance. Look, look at this. What guy. the hell? Have you seen that, folks? Yeah, <laughs> oh, look, look. Yeah, I, I saw it. Also, holy shit, there's like three guys here. You're gonna get massacred. Yeah. This looks wrong. That one guy is holding in. He's gonna die. He is definitely gonna die. Yeah. Oh, he, he took out one guy though. Mutual kill. Yeah. Well, that was close. Yeah, took all these guys out. Uh -huh. Well, you took two guys out. Let the other guy have this uh -huh. kill. Yep. Uh, 
I don't think there was anything else. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> apart from that little make here, but apart from that, nothing else. Uh huh. Okay, now we climb up here. Why? Because there's more stuff. Because the game told us to. I'm playing the ladder tune again. Oh, there's another ladder. Yeah. What a thrill. <laughs> the darkness in silence through the night. I, that, I love that song. That's essentially what this is. Yeah. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mel Goose or Free Snake here. They'll, uh, they'll go play the subsistence version. Yeah. I would I would like recommend the HD collection, but it doesn't include subsistence content. Yeah. It has less content, yeah. <laughs> There's our next pillar. So that's 3 out of 6. Uh -huh. Nice, no, damn credit. It's actually five. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's three out of five. I just remembered it's five pillars you need. So, yeah. And then after that, we go through the big door and then we're done with the level. Hey, it's not that long. It, unless you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, it's not that bad, but... when I, you, if I you mean, after if, all, it takes like ten minutes to it, finish. Yeah, if you are a person who's um new to it all... Oh boy, is it going to take you a while? <laughs> I bet when you first did it, it took you an hour. Well, when I was a kid, I had a strategy guide because I was a cheating <laughs> idiot back then, so... At least complete the game normally before resorting to cheats. Yeah. I was a kid. If I was older, I probably would have done it without a walkthrough guide. I actually did play through Golden Mask without a strategy guide. But it wasn't easy. <laughs> nah. I actually, get, I actually did quite well with it, actually. Yeah, when we get to Golden Mars, you get to show off his epic skills. Yeah. And by that, I mean dying. <laughs> well, that is your epic skill, dying and reloading. Yeah. Then again, the Tomb Raider games are quite known for being very troll and error type games, though, so... Very troll and error. Okay. So we go this way now. Hello there, monk. Well, last time I did a playthrough of this, I actually made, I accidentally attacked the monk. Oh, smart move. And then everyone was after me, and it was so terrifying. I had to keep running back and shooting them all. <laughs> it was funny. And I killed everyone. It was fun. So, yeah, let me guess. Another one of those pillars is in behind of this death, death trap. Yeah. <laughs> that killed you in I like how the la. The, la <laughs> the, the, the fire was right on top of that. Yeah. It's always best to move as soon as the thing comes at you, because as soon as you run to it, it's going to go back, so... Save here again. This part is tricky. Very, very tricky. Yeah, because there's like a spinning blade. It's hard to see where it's at. Come on. Actually, I could do this. Like, I can actually look around. But yeah, you need to remember that. Wait, go that. That's a chance. Go! Probably safe here. Yep. Good news is though, you can stand over here oh. and you won't get hit. Right, I'm gonna save here though. <laughs> oh boy! There was actually a game on PlayStation known as Death Trap Dungeon. Wait, seriously? Yeah, and that game was um even harder than this game. Well, considering it's a game called Death Trap Dungeon, I can see why. Yeah, that game was really hard. Oh, look, there's your third final dragon. Bad time as well. Always use the roll, folks. Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't the final one. Yeah, if you want to get through that more easily, just uh. Yeah, utilize the roll. the roll mechanic. Yeah, so as soon as you see them open, you just press roll. Always works. <laughs> Nearly rolled into the, like, fucking spinning blade. Yeah. I did, didn't I? Wait for it to go back. By the way, uh, ponytail's, like, uh, glitching up there. 
Oh, it's, it's just the way the animation works. Yeah. So, Good. pass all of that. Okay, we've done all the traps. Uh, was it our final key? Mm-hmm. Oh, great, more water. And this is why I came here first before I went into that storage room. Because once you activate a switch in a room, you can't reactivate it for some reason. So I came here first because we're going to get the last secret in this level. Oh, and if you activate it, you can't get the golden statue. Yeah. Oh, no, stone statue. My bad. Then loads of M16 clips. I mean. If you were like full on clips anyway, you probably wouldn't have needed them. Yep. Exactly. Oh, there are more dead guys here. Uh -huh. Does he have anything? Yeah, he does. Uh -huh. Grey rounds. I like how their bullies just face through the. That's just weird. Ah, uh, 1990s technology. Yeah. The 90s technology, yeah. Actually, there was Sonic Mania that I played recently, and that game's great. It's, this, it's essentially a much better version than what the Sonic team was doing. Yeah. That's it. Although we haven't opened the bottom yet. Yeah, because we can now use the gemstone where we were at earlier, so we can get in there. Right. Okay. Speaking of which, how many have I got now? Three still. So I believe there's another one in there. So. Yeah. I know, so, where the other, I know where the other two are, so... Oh, that's good, then. It, it's funny how Sonic Mania was made by a group of fans of Sonic games, whereas the actual Sonic team couldn't, like, you know, keep up with consistent good games every year. Yeah. So... I mean, Sonic Forces was okay, but incredibly short. Uh, Sonic Forces is mediocre. It's the best way to describe it. Um... I think out of all the Sonic games, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is probably my favourite. My favourite, because I thought it was great. Probably the game you grew up with the most. I mean, I'm not really a Sonic fan, but I do like Sonic 3 and Knuckles a lot, so. Because it's such a really well crafted 2D platformer. I mean, I don't exactly blame you not being a Sonic fan, considering the fandom. Not just that, I just don't really like it that much. It's composed to most platformers. Like, um. I think Mario's got a lot more challenge to it than what Sonic does most of the time anyway. Yeah, as, a, as I did when I was trying to play Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Yeah. Exactly. Most fandoms though can be quite toxic though, I'm not gonna lie. Most fandoms, not all. Yeah, like you'd be surprised about the One Piece fandom. They're actually quite civil compared to most. Yeah, One Piece is one of the more friendlier ones actually. People don't get all worked up over opinions either, so. Which is good. Which is what you want for a fandom. Because what's the point of expressing your opinion then if people aren't gonna respect yeah, if you? Yeah, you, if you're just gonna get mobbed by everyone else. Yeah, because if we all thought the same, it'd be boring, really, so. Plus, I think it's childish when people get worked up over opinions. I still laugh about it, to be honest. I still laugh at them, to be honest. I mean, if, if, if you have lived, we're not saying that you're not allowed to, like, you know, criticize someone's opinion if they're, like, talking shit. Yeah. But what we're saying is, like, if it's not legit criticism, and you're just looking for petty stuff to talk about, that that's when we have a fucking problem. Well, no, I'll just, I'll just leave them be. If they want to think the way they do, they think the way they do. I can't stop it. Nothing's gonna change. Right. So... So yeah, we trained the war in this level. Yep. Now we can get the fucking pillar. <laughs> there was another gem we probably needed. Yeah, now this is why I came here last, because as soon as you activate it, for some reason, you cannot reset the water. So that's why I went the other way first, so I can get the last dragon. Which I think is a bit silly, really. They should let you, like, reactivate the switch at your own free will. Yeah, it does seem a little silly that way. Yeah. I'll have you can like glitch through that block just to get the other side without having to climb around. Fall down, one to go. No, two to go. You said there were six. Oh, ha, 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 ha. But then I said there was five, so ha, ha, ha to you. 
I would love to see DSP play this game. <laughs> he he would just rely on a stream chat. He would. You could tell him by the guy. I mean, hints and tips are like nice to have. I have to, yeah, yeah. Don't don't try and rely on them. Yeah, exactly. I do. When it comes to Tomb Raider, I do like those level editors that people make online. They they really do a good job with them. They they're usually made by the fans, and they do a really good job with them. Actually, most of the time, there was like the King Arthur project, which was a lot of fun. So, I'm, I've never played them. Yeah, you can download them for free. So, and it works perfectly fine on your PC. So, um. Uh, Crikey, there are a lot of monks. There's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's like a Minecraft game. All these villagers are just spawning. All right, what do we got? We got four of them. So now we can use that key over here to get the last pillar, and then we're out of this level. <laughs> that just looks fun. Jumping in the air uh, like an action movie and then just doing the animation. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get to the last one, shall we? This one's actually pretty basic. It's just simply going into a hut and grabbing it and then leaving. Basically, that's all it is. That's pretty much all you do. <laughs> well, for, I'm, I'm guessing there's a boulder on the way down. Surprisingly not. Oh. There is a bridge, and you've got to be very careful on this bridge. Because there's a guy who will attack you later on, and you can fall off this damn bridge. That's why we just use a grenade in his face. Yeah. Or be badass and just use the pistols. I'm Pistol Man. Pistol Man. More like Pistol Woman. Pistol Woman. Pistol Man Woman. Both nah, it just doesn't work. Nah, that doesn't work. I apologise. Okay. Now what you got to do here is when you see her shadow appear on there, then you drop. Come up here. If you ever love to go too far, you'll fall back. We now. should do Angel of Darkness for lols, actually. It'd be great. <laughs> I wonder if I can get that piece of shit one on the PS2. Yeah, it could be. But yeah, here's, here's that guy's mode. And he's brought his crow with him. Actually, the PC version of Angel of Darkness is actually more uh, glitchy. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> wow. And the PS2 version actually is more polished than the PC version. Surprising. Yeah. Yeah, be careful here, there's a monk. Yeah, I'll blame the crows if I shoot the monk. See if I can deal with the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe you should heal first. Yeah, let's see if I can... Get through these guys without having to fight them. Because I've seen someone play the Great War of China about taking down a single enemy and he had a bunch of crows after him, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's grab this pillar and get the hell out of here. That's the last one. Get the hell out of here. There's going to be a guy with guns, but I can just run past him because he doesn't drop anything, so I might as well just run past him. Too bad there's no dash function. We could have just like run past them. Instead, we'll just bunny hop our way to victory. You deal with him. I'm going. Welcome back, Baguette. Okay. How is he lying midair? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> long. <laughs> yeah, this level's long, but we're almost done with it now. And of course, we're nearly done. Yeah, like yeah, like he said. So I just gotta put all the wheels in and then that's it. That's it, then we finished off with this. And then we go to the uh, catacombs, which is the next level. And then after that, it's like the cinematic that leads you back to the Great Wall again. Yeah. Imagine the monk just showed up at this point. Oh, I'm gonna get in where you're lying on fire. I'm not done until I die. Oh, you nearly jinxed it, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, trust me, you died already. I've died plenty of times, actually. Alright. Throughout this playthrough, I died. Actually, when I did the Opera House, I died quite a bit, I think. You are already dead. Yeah. I am. Inside. <laughs> 
Ah, Dome Reaper! Welcome to the stream, my man! Dome Reaper's a friend of mine. Oh, yeah, I know. I know that. Yes, this is Tomb Raider 2. Great game, isn't it? Mm. Don't worry, he's just having some frustrations with the level. Yeah, doing fine, thanks. Like, we've, I think we've got, like, to level 12 so far? Yeah, level 12, we're just coming up to level 13 now, so... Yeah, the ice catacombs. Yeah, catacombs. Right. <laughs> Look how it keeps showing that, like, is it gonna change? Is it gonna change? I'm surprised... She's able to fit five of those in a small backpack. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. Oh, it's it's probably using the same hammer space technology. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking panel at the bottom melts my heart. You need to stream more. Yeah, you need to stream more. Yeah, I definitely do need to. I, I've been putting it off for way too long. Alright, let's use the Seraph. And, and we are done! We are done with this level anyway. Yeah. Well, we're gonna proceed with the door first.